Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Gemini. This is going to be for your February 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Is it a good idea for you, to, for you to reach out? So this reading is for the Gemini individuals that are currently in no contact with somebody. Okay, um, so uh, we're going to see if it's a good idea for you to reach out. And what will happen if you did reach out to this person? You could switch the roles if you want. It could be a situation that the person that you're in no contact with could be wondering this about you. Even though this is love focused, this could be with anyone. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. All right, so tell me about Gemini here. Tell me about Gemini. Is it a good idea for Gemini to reach out to a person that they are in no contact with for February 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Gemini. Is it a good idea for Gemini to reach out to the person that they are in no contact with for February 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Gemini. Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords here. Hmm. I, I would say that's a no. Um, whoever this is, this person has a way with words here to sort of like, to get you to do what they want. This person plays really good mind games. You know, I feel like this person, even though, you know, if it logically kind of sounds kind of wrong, this person can be very convincing, okay? Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Five of Swords here. Two of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. I don't think it's a good idea. This person's gonna confuse the crap out of you here. Also, I feel like if this person owes you an apology, this person doesn't believe that they need to apologize to you, okay? So, um, Two of Swords and the Four of Pentacles here, and the Empress here, and the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, the Empress, Libra, Taurus here. This is so interesting. Um, Gemini, what I'm getting here is that it's kind of like a tag team situation. We have a Queen of Swords here, and then we have the Empress here. This Empress is is, is like a parent. Uh, who, whoever these two people are, these two individuals are complete bullies. Yeah. The, these two are complete bullies because I feel like this Empress, especially with this Page of Wands here, is vibrating for a low, from a low state of consciousness here. Okay, so um, I don't think it's a good idea for you to reach out because I feel like if you want to talk to your person, okay, I feel like the parents is going to step in and both of you, got, both of you, both of them are going to railroad over you. All right, tell me about the Queen of Swords here. Nine of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Knight of Swords here. I feel like they're, they're going to tell you what you want to hear. You're my person. I love you. You know, you're what you're my wish fulfillment. But um, I do feel like this person is doing it in a way that's really unethical. Yeah, kind of like mean. Tell me about this uh, two of swords here. This person's really mean. And I, I, you know, and the person that you're dealing with here, their parents, I feel like their mother, this person's mean also. Two of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles here and the King of Swords. Okay, this is a true pair here. Gemini, I feel like you love this person so much, you're actually willing to sit down to talk to this person. But I feel like it's not a good idea. Yeah, I feel like you've been bullied by two bullies here. Your person and the parent. Yeah, it's just not a good idea. It's not really going to go anywhere. Um... Uh, I feel I feel like you're that King of Swords here, uh, Gemini. The Hangman and the Empress and the Page of Swords and the Six of Wands. You know, this is so interesting. This mother or this parent, it could be a father, apply this to your own unique situation. This person tends to scan people. And I feel like this person can be in incredibly intimidating when they do that. 
you know, because I feel like they have this look or that they have this stare, you know, and I feel like this person is trying to size you up or something like that. The six of wands here. This person's definitely very egotistical too. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea because I feel like this parent doesn't really like you. I, this is so interesting. I feel like this person doesn't really like you either. Yeah, I just feel like this person treats you in a very like condescending way. I feel like this is the type of person that would throw you under the bus. Yeah. Let's say if this person committed the crime, this person will point the finger at you. <laughs> yeah. So um, what will happen if Gemini reached out to the person that they are in no contact with? What will happen if the uh, if Gemini reached out to the person that they are in no contact with for February? 2023 sun moon rising venus signs for gemini the devil and the ace of pentacles Ugh, yuck justice and the eight of cups the nine of wands here and the ace of swords they're definitely going to try and trick you um i wouldn't be surprised if this person has the ability to do some sort of mind control or something like that um, this could happen in some sort of dream, uh, sleep state or dream state here, uh, you know, during meditation, uh, because I do feel like, you know, this person's like literally on you, like not literally on you, but their energy is on you. It's kind of like they're constantly taking your temperature, you know, the um, justice card in the eight of cups. I, I would not mess with this person, to be quite honest. Um, I'm, I'm getting kind of like these two feminine energies are both kind of like very witchy energies and not like in a good way. This, these two black, these two practice black magic. Okay. Nine of Wands here and the Ace of Swords. Uh, you know, it's important to shield yourself here. Yeah, it's important to shield yourself. If you could find, if you could, you know, I would say, you know, kind of like pull out the big guns here, I would find someone and help you with this, you know, such as an energy worker, okay? Um, tell me about the devil here. We have the eight of wands. Ace of pentacles here in the high priestess. I feel like this person's trying to psychically attack you. Yeah, it's, it, 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 it's like you don't want to, but I feel like this person's trying to get you to come back and I feel like you're, 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 they're, you're actually like, you could be, you know, kind of like, you know, taking that bait, you know, it, it, you're trying really, really hard not to, but it's kind of like you're, you're, you're kind of leaning in towards it. Okay. Or that you're so open that, you know, it, this is really getting to you. So it's really important to shield yourself. Tell me about that. Tell me about this justice card. Uh, two of pentacles, eight of cups here and the six of pentacles here. Um, I do feel like you're, you are in some sort of karmic situation here, in some sort of karmic loop, because I feel like this has consistently happened over and over and over again, okay? Um, yeah, I do feel like this person's definitely going to try and put, suck you back in. This is so weird because I feel like there's a tag team going on here. I feel like the parent is doing this too. It's like they need some sort of punching bag. Yeah, um, you know, I feel like in the past life, these two... It's so interesting because I feel like these two committed crimes against men, like they hated men or something like that, or hated people with masculine energy. Okay, three of wands here, ace of swords and a death card. I see this ending. I see this ending. Yeah, I see you like literally cutting this out or cutting this cord here. Yeah, so... Um, Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.